Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Taurus, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Taurus. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for you. This reading for today, Taurus, you will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. Okay. I'm doing this uh, reading on the eve of the Taurus full moon, sorry, Virgo full moon. And um, so we'll be also looking into the uh, full moon reading for you. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to show the, you know, the the shuffle of the cards because I was talking for the last two to three minutes and I forgot to turn on the camera. But the message is strong. So let's proceed. I did not change the spread. Okay. Now let's start with your full moon reading. Okay, you got the judgment card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. It seems to be this Virgo full moon happening under the Pisces season. It seems to be it is inspiring you, Taurus, that now you've got time, availability, money, resources. This is a good thing. It's time to release or it's time to take a bold step towards something of a... You've been contemplating a passionate project, okay? Whether it's travel, it could be travel, it, it could be career, it could be business. But you've got this passionate project that is lingering around your vibe. This full moon will bring you awareness to everything that you need to know about this passionate project. And it's telling you, you've got time, you've got the skills, you've got the money, you've got the resources. This is a good news. It's time to make it happen, to put out there that passionate project. Okay, it's time to do it. The full moon reading for you. Okay. Let's get one card. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. It's time for you to be rich and famous. It's time for you to tap into money, abundance, and the best, the best, you know, uh, tap into how you are going to fully live the life that you want. You know, Ten of Pentacles in here. This is perfect then. Okay? You don't just dream. This passionate project, it's not just intended for you. It's intended for your friends or your family. But this is a this is a good one. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Now, you all the Nine of Swords, I feel like this is the block, which means that all of the details and information, I feel like this is the past, which means that in the past, there was so many things that you were considering. This full moon, it's telling you, you've got time, you've got availability, you've got resources, you've got skills. It's now time for you to make it happen. That passionate project, that ambition, okay? It's time for you to take or to embark a new journey, a new project. All right? Now, the second part of the reading is you've got the death card. You've got the you've got the death card, a star card, a six of pentacles in here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, and Six of Pentacles. Let's look at the Scorpio card. The four of sorry, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. You get the Queen of Swords. You get the Queen of Cups. Something tells me that there is a situation or a person that you've been really trying to, I feel like you're trying to impress them or to win them. You know, Knight of Wands, I feel like you're entertaining them. It could be a group of friends or maybe family, maybe a specific person or a specific situation. You're realizing that you have given, you have entertained them. Something tells me that you have impressed. You're impressing someone, somebody. And you're coming to a point where this person is so hard to impress. The person, the people, the situation. It's coming to a point where like pleasing people or pleasing the specific person. Or it could be like you're involved in a situation 
or a group where all you do is follow there's a leader you follow you say yes look at that the queen of cups you always say yes to this person or situation because you want to please them and somehow this full moon you're taking your power back six of pentacles in here like when it comes to this person situation you always say yes you surrender you please them you make them happy you sacrifice your emotions king of cups you sacrifice something about you feel just to impress this person or to please them yeah page of swords you're coming to a point where this is not right you know page of swords you're coming to a point where you you don't want to do it anymore you don't want to do it anymore yeah eight of cups it feels like you had enough of pleasing them prioritizing them adjusting and be being so flexible and kind to a person to a situation because there's a queen there's a king it could be like a partnership you know you feel like you're for some of you if this is a friend or if it's like a group you feel like you're being taken advantage if this is a partnership like it could be your boss or you or it could be a romantic partnership but it's kind of too much now you know you have you've been so submissive or super flexible that they've sidelined you or they've looked at you weak because you're always flexible but you're just simply kind yeah page of cups could be someone younger than you four of swords you're you're not happy i would say you're sacrificing your feelings you're sacri you're sacrificing your heart this heart desire for this person i would say in a personal note in a personal in, in a personal note they don't realize how much you do or sacrifice or you give because from king of cups there's a king of swords you are now starting to tap into the logical side of the story the relationship where if you really love me why is that you're always the one giving making a move you're you're doing all of the work or there's something in here that you're always like you're a yes person for some of you yeah high priestess something tells me that you don't want to be a yes person like in a general collective reading you don't want to be a yes person you don't want to tag along you want your voice to be heard like in a collective reading you don't you want your voice to be heard you just don't want to tag along you want to manage you want to you want to manage you want to lead whether it's career finance but you want to lead you want to manage you want your voice to be heard you might you want to be acknowledged you want to be seen you want to be heard and you can do that you've got all the talents and skills and you deserve to be acknowledged like there's a part of you that you're surrendering to be a shadow you know it's also very full moon reading where enough of being a shadow you're gonna take charge ace of swords let's look at the ace of swords yep so for some of you guys it's time to really switch on the bull it's time to be solid and take your power back because they're not really appreciating you or they're not seeing you yeah two of pentacles two of cups if you take your power back taurus if you start acting based on what your hearts desire without being rude without with without being rude diplomatic and in harmony they will notice you if you're not being noticed at home at work if you act with independence and integrity and confident they will notice you sometimes we've got to really take out sometimes we gotta really tap into that swag in this reading you're going to show them that you can swag the bull can swag it's time for the bull to let the bull out and show them that you've got some skills and talent and you've you are one of the best person that is fit for the role or you're one of their best person so they shouldn't underestimate you they will notice you 
whoever this person or situation is, they will notice you. It could be like maybe it's maybe temporary you were shadowed or because I feel like it's temporary. You will you'll be at the peak of their attention again, whoever this person or situation is. Okay. So you gotta take your power back. Don't be rude. Be diplomatic and you'll be noticed. Two of Cups. Look at that. And this is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you would like to further connect with me, um, all of the details is down in the description box below. And I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.